Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time, because it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I'm excited. I got some fun stuff to work with this week. Let me, let me get some stuff set up, and man, we'll open some boxes. While I'm getting set up here, here's a video that I released on Amazon last week for a, a cool product. So check that out, and then we'll jump back here and I'll open some more boxes. Before we get into this Friday's finds, click the howdy button, say hello. Tell me why you watch Friday's finds. Y'all remember Boyson? Yeah, they sent us another box. This is... The heavy duty RV jack stand. You know when you lit when you're in the RV and, and you're camping and somebody gets up in the middle of the night to go to the facilities and it's like a you're on a boat just moving around. That solves the problem. Let's take a look at it. Even with a hydraulic leveling system, I I, I can see this would be advantageous because the Hydraulic cylinders actually kind of bleed off. These are stabilizing jacks. These are not really intended for, uh, they're not like mobile home manufactured housing jacks, I guess is what I'm trying to say. cast pewter so they're real light maybe it's an aluminum alloy quite simple to set up and they don't take up a, a whole lot of space so how would, would you, how would you use these? Let me show you. These platform stabilizers are rated 4,000 pounds each. So if your trailer weighs 10,000 pounds, no problem. Stabilizers. Now these are, these are stabilizers. They're not jacks. They're adjustable stabilizers. And I, I really didn't think I was going to have a call or a, a way to use them with my motorhome. Because I have a motorhome and it's really heavy. And we have a hydraulic leveling system on it. And it's got problems. Driver side stabilizer jack is, is no longer functioning. Matter of fact, I had to take it off. I had to dismount it this morning because it wouldn't retract so i've moved to a new site and we're level but i don't have a jack so we get we get some movement when we walk well thank you to boyson we are now stabilized so here's my hydraulic jack <laughs> turn sideways and we now we're not leveling we already, I already, I got the coach level with blocks and three jacks, but I wanted to give that some stability. And those boys and jacks are perfect. They don't take up a whole lot of space. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty certain that that's going to become part of my standard kit just in the just in case kit i just found another use for those jack stands so the the step here is not very well built and it flexes a lot when i step on it it's a, i've actually had to rework the way that step mounts to the what it's attached to but now of all i'm always worried about stepping out and having the step collapse no, I don't have to worry about it. Genius! 
I think these are a great backup to have. I like them, and I know you will too. Do you have a truck? Do you pull a trailer? That means you got a trailer hitch, and most likely it's not the, the kind that sits on the bump bumper. Those kind of have gone away. This We're talking a, a receiver under, mounted to the frame, and you put a, a hitch on there. Here, let me show you. Kind of like this. It looks like that. Now one of the things that's, that really frustrates me is you have this pin. Now that makes it convenient because you can just pull that out. But let's say, hypothetically speaking, you have a trailer, a boat or whatnot, and you've got it locked onto that ball, but if you don't have a locking pin, somebody could drive off with your, your, your whole setup. So, and, I, and for years, from all my life, I thought there, there's got to be maybe a better way to do this. But I have yet to see one until today. We're going to take a look at a better way to do that. So let's take a look. This is from City Moms. City Moms, no additional tools. It includes an anti-theft lock, no rattle noise. So this is a two inch drop. We're gonna drop two inches. So anyway, let's, let's take a look at it. I like the packaging. When they reached out to me, I was like, oh heck yeah, that's awesome. I need one of those. I need to show y'all. It's a built-in lock. That's, that's, that's heavy duty. Well, I'm not sure what that's for yet. I'm pretty certain I know what that's for. I think that goes right in here. And you can adjust this. So once you get it set, because that's what the little Allen wrench is for, so you can adjust that, you just slide that in. The next sponsored product comes to us from Julka. J J Julka. Julka. Julka, maybe? Julka? Anyway, they sent us the hot tap outing kit. It got a little damp whenever. All right, let's take a look at the outing kit. You can see in the, the picture on the box, it's got a lot of stuff in here. Water heater, stand. Let, let's get into it and we'll figure out what all's in here. But I think I'm gonna be able to make a, a, a hot tub with this. Coming soon to a bush near you. Toilet, drinking water, recirculation, tent, heating. Huh. Scan to find out more. They have all kinds of stuff. They are a new player in the market. Wow. Free two-year warranty on this. User guide. This is well packaged. The quick start guide. Okay. Recyclable. I like that. No styrofoam. We have power cord. Lots of hosing. Tubing. Hosing. You hoser, you. Quick connects. Free extended warranty. Stop having issues. Now I'm gonna have to blur all that out, otherwise Amazon will heal out. Oh. Well, 
What else? I like that there's no styrofoam in here. We have stands. We have a, got a filter. That, that, that allows you to pull that water from wherever with this pump. You can suck it up out of the creek. Not sure what that is. Better read the quick start guide. Shower head. More hosing. More hosing. Do hose are you? So let me let me read the quick start guide. Figure out where we are, what we've got, uh, and I'll I'll cut back in when I start putting stuff together. This is so simple. I didn't have to go find any big wrenches or pipe wrenches to to get that. This look hardly any movement, and I can tighten it up a little bit more. So we are tight, and then we can turn it quarter turn, and now you cannot get this out. So it's permanently until you, unless you have the key. If you have the key, you can turn it a quarter turn, and then you just back it out. Watch the, the pin. like that that's so cool I love that and I've got the, the, the stop in the right place and we just screw it on no more stolen trailer balls no stolen trailers here Like that. And we quarter turn. We're good to go right there. Ha! That is so cool. I like that, and I know you will too. All right, let's go open another box. I got another fun one to play with. It's arrived. I'm excited. If you've been following the channel for a while, you will recall way back in the day when the uh, before the Vesta, when we still had the big, long bumper pull, I had a little Japanese soaking tub and a little portable soaking tub I took with me. Uh, and it worked really well, but it was a little bit small. <laughs> well, I got a, I got a deal. It's like 50% off deal on Amazon for crying out loud. Let's check out the ice, the, the ladder ice bath tub. This is the ladder ice bath tub, 87 gallons. We have a, an inflator. interested in ice baths but I am interested in a tub that I can get into and soak legs comes with a whole kit kitchen timer thermometer a hose probably a, that's probably a drain hose These fit inside here.
This tub is a little more insulated, a lot more insulated than the other little tub I had. It even comes with a cover and a carry bag. How about that? That will be handy, handy. All right, so I need to, I need to put this together so you can see what I got going on in my head. That's a scary place. So let me let me get set in the in the screen building over there, and I'll be back. I, I really like the stand. It's very simple to install the, the lightweight legs, three holes, that just lines right up, and we need to put batteries in here, negative, and we push that in. All right, some hosing. You hoser, you. Quick connect, like that. Like that. I really like that you get the, the caps. We have, and we have an already included quick connect for the, the LP. Look at there. All right. And includes a, a Y. So if you want to set up a sink and have hot water for, for washing dishes in camp, they actually sell a portable sink that goes with this. Uh, and this would be your adapter that would connect into you would connect that put the Y in place or if you just need more hot water hose you've got a you know what 30 inch extension there but that can also be incorporated with this element so we'll get into that in just a moment right now we're setting up to take a shower. So that goes to your water faucet. Apparently there's no... We need to connect that to our city water. Let me just get it set up and I'll be back. I got to I have a hot tub. Check it out. And we have a thermometer even, so we'll know what the temperature is. We're off grid with a hot tub. I can charge the battery bank with the solar panel. I'm going to pick up a 20 pound bottle of propane just about anywhere. That's awesome! Although I, I don't need to heat the water right now because it's, it's plenty hot, but I wanted to test the concept. I'm so excited! I get to soak. I get to soak tonight. I'm a happy, happy boy. That's a that's a great value on that, that portable bathtub, ice bath thing. Hot tubbing tonight. Well, we have reached the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. And what a grand edition of this. And what a fun one. Actually, have used the hot tub? I think I'm going to figure out how to put a filter on there somehow. I want to thank the sponsors of today's video. All of these items are available on Amazon and I am an Amazon influencer. 
I do earn revenues if purchases. It, it, if you click a link and go to Amazon and make a purchase, it does help support the channel. Your business is most appreciated. I know the vendors would truly appreciate you clicking on their links and going to visit their products. That really helps with their Amazon metrics. Even if you're not making a purchase, it helps them out, which in turn helps me out so that I can keep making these videos and bringing this, bringing you quality content. As I typically do, I will provide you with links in the cards and in the description. Up in the card, there'll be a, a, a link that will take you to the Friday's Finds a shopping list on the Amazon, my Amazon influencer page. All of the Friday's Finds featured items are going to be in that list. In the description below, I'll also provide you with that particular link in addition to direct product links so you can just if you don't want to go through the, the whole friday's finds shopping list you can just go and click i want to see that i want to see that tub i want to see that hot water heater that's where you would do that if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button hit that and remember hit the howdy button those those two things really help a small channel get noticed by the algorithm if you've already been following along thank you so much i really appreciate it that's why i get to do what i do thank you and for my patrons your generosity is most appreciated thank you very much you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear